That's more like it. Bring some totes and boxes. That was the last text I received from the gentleman that I'm going to do a deal with today. And check out this picture that he sent me too of his inventory that he's looking to sell. After sending this, he said, I quote, but wait! And there's way more. So I'm of course sitting here in my office feeling like I need to like tear off my business suit to reveal the Superman costume underneath and be like, I'm on my way and like sprint out the door. In reality, I was just like, when works for you. So needless to say, I'm stoked about doing this deal. The only problem is my office is already a bit crowded with games because I haven't exactly gotten them off to FBA since doing my last few big deals. We've got games over here. That's some games. Games there. This one is all games. That one is games as well. So I'm gonna have to get a little creative with my office storage solutions. But you know me, I'm always buying. I can't pass up a good deal. So let's go do this thing. So what, what's the story behind all this stuff? I mean, well, was a lot of it from that one house? A lot of it was from the one house. The games and stuff? A lot of it. Not okay. All. Cause there's, how many games do you think there are here? A couple hundred. And this isn't even all of them. This is, I, this is just what I could fit in this room. Okay. Not in the barn. There's about three or four more totes full. Of like games or consoles or? Just games. Okay. Holy cow. Now that stuff, all those are from that one house. Uh huh. The uh, the hoarder house, and um, they still a lot of those still need to be cleaned. That's why. Okay. There. Sure. Wow, this is a solid one. You got some. Oh yeah, these are good the titles ones. here. Yeah, this a whole stack of sealed stuff. That's, That's crazy. Also, those wow. Are all out of that house. I actually just bought one of these not too long ago. So what was your experience like in that house? Like, were you, did you, were you suited up in like the hazmat stuff? Cause uh, I saw some people were. That was one of my buddies though. One of my buddies, he had the full hazmat suit on. Yeah. No, but I did have a mask and gloves on in there. Yeah, I bet. If you have any cool video game shirts, I may be a buyer on that too, just for myself. <laughs> And then this stuff, how much of this came out of the hoarder house? Not much of it. This is just stuff I already had. You had laying around? I had laying around. <laughs> okay, cool. Well, so on my end, I normally, like I, I can, I tend to offer better on games than consoles just because consoles are a lot more work. Um, but I'm happy to, to take a look at what, and especially like handhelds, those are easy. But anything that like, it's e like on games and stuff, I'll inspect them and like look at the condition. But if it looks good, I don't bother testing it. Oh, there's a sealed one. Cool. There's a few sealed Xbox 360, a couple of them. Gotcha. Most of those aren't, but there's a few. Yeah. So where do you want to start? Wherever you want. Let's do this. So what I've done in deals like this in the past is I'll go kind of like by stack. Like I'll, I'll kind of look everything up and then say like, hey, on this stack, I can do this much, at least especially on like lower dollar stuff. Um, if we can do it that way, if you want to go one by one, we can do that too. I would say some one by one and some we can do your stack thing. Okay, just depending on value? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so where are the like low dollar piles? Why don't we start with those? This big boy, okay. This big boy, some of that stuff. Yeah. That stuff is just kind of eh. Yeah. Some of that stuff's good, some of it's eh. Yeah, I'll just, I'll start digging in then. That's awesome. All right, so on the DS stuff for this stack, I'd be at 75. 75? Yep, and then for this stack of common stuff, I could be at 40. 75, 40? Mm-hmm. No. All righty, got the ball rolling. All right, so for this stack of four game cubes, Metroid, couple sunshines, and melee, I could be at 80. Is that fair? Good to go. Cool. All right, so looks like there are about uh, a little over 100 of the common ones. I think there are probably some in here that I will be able to sell individually. So normally, like, my base rate for the common stuff uh, is like a buck a piece, but how about, like, how about like 150? Is that reasonable? Yeah, I'll do that. Okay. That sounds good to me. All right, folks. So bin number one, we've only gotten through Xbox, GameCube, and DS stuff. 
<laughs> and bin number one is already full. I think, what do you think we're probably at at this point? Like, like four, three to 400 range or so probably on this bin. And uh, folks, we've still got plenty to go here. I think we're gonna, let's make our way over to this like retro and we section and see if we can get some deals worked out. Okay, so here's what we have in the like high value pile. Robo Trek, Captain Novelin, whoops, Run Saber, Super Valis IV-4, <laughs> as some might say, Boogerman, Zombies Ate My Neighbors, which is a new one to me, honestly. Uh, a couple of Zeldas and Mario All-Stars at the bottom there. Uh, on these, I could be at 243, if that's in the right range. Would you be willing to go 275? 275. Um, I think that's fair. Because there are some high dollar ones in here. I like money! Now that I found back in June. I got that at Vercel's Goodwill in Vercel's. Really? And, um, they were just bringing a new car out with a bunch of complete SNS games. What? That's, that's the last one. That's I've the last one you have. The others. I had Mario Kart complete. Donkey Kong. Added yeah, Donkey Kong. looks like this one. Good. There are a few listed at 20, so I couldn't I couldn't do a ton on this one. But this one I can do the 50 even with the the rat <laughs> 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 the rat stuff. So yeah, anybody out there who is looking for this, feel free to let me know. All right, and for the rest of these guys, condition on a lot of them looks decent. Some of them you can kind of tell they've probably been peed on by a rat <laughs> at some point. Go on. But I'm thinking even though some of them are worth like a couple bucks, some of them are going to be worth more like 20 or maybe up. So there are 58 of them. How would you feel about 300? I'll do it. Okay, appreciate that. I think there will be some, some pretty solid ones in here. And the nice thing is I didn't see too many that do have like kind of this decay on them that were like super high value, I don't think. So that's good. All right, folks, we've moved on to the Ikea bags. Settle on 50 bucks for this uh, Wii bundle here. Decent number of games, some, some good titles, nothing really high end. And then over here, we've got Uninvited as the best title of the NES games. And then as well as these other common-ish ones and also a random Adam's Family on the SNES ended up doing a hundred bucks for this little bundle here. Uh, and these things, don't get me wrong, they need, they need a bath. <laughs> they need a good scrub, but uh, you know, I don't mind putting a little bit of elbow grease into it, especially, you know, if it's a pretty solid deal like uh, we've been coming to with these games. You got a uh, PlayStation 2? Okay, folks, so we're in the middle of the high value PS2 section right here. Haven't looked up any of these. All we've done so far is these two. I'm already at 120 because this is a really valuable game. What, what do we do on this? 40? This one I just looked up. I could do 40 or 35 on that if you want to. Sure. That's good. And then we looked up this bad boy, which I don't think I've ever bought before, Obscure. This is like in the neighborhood of like a $300 game. Money! On eBay. Really crazy. On my end, I could be at one... How about 170? Is that fair? Sure. Normally I'd go for margins that are a little bit higher than that, because after fees I'll make like maybe maybe like 80 bucks or so. But the thing is, on a high dollar title like this, if I can make $80 and only have to do a single listing and a single cleaning and all that stuff, it's still worth it for me. And I also, I wanna be known as the guy who uh, pays well for high end stuff. So sometimes on stuff like that, you just gotta bite the bullet and I'm happy to be coming home with this guy. Alrighty, so we uh, just did a little Dreamcast stack here. Gamecast! Uh, got like House of the Dead, Blue Stingers, what in the like 40 or so range. Got a few like cheap-ish ones. Uh, this one was pretty good, Death Crimson, Soul Calibur, and then the tragedy of the bunch, oh this was the most expensive one, Power Stone. Evolution, which was sealed, but unfortunately got stepped on in the hoarder house and is now kind of all smashed up and peeling, but it's gonna get into gonna get into some good hands eventually, so that's the important thing. Oh and then also some like fairly cheap like Genesis games a uh, Sonic CD, which is pretty nice, and some miscellaneous PC games that I've never heard of before, but it's all coming home with me. All right, so I kind of forgot to mention it, but we just did a stack of uh, like mid-range PS1 games that ended up coming out to uh, 290. 
So pretty happy about that. And this is what we have left to go. Some like higher end PS1, some sealed PS1. Like there's some grails. This whole stack right here, I don't know if I mentioned it, all sealed PS2, so that's gonna be crazy. We're probably at, what, like in the 1500 range already so far in terms of my total bill. Do you mind if I ask what you paid for all the stuff from the Hoarder House? For everything, everything, including the games. I got all sorts of just cool collectible items. Yeah. Around 600, 650. All right, <laughs> that's a monster score, man. I'm glad that you're making a good amount on this and hopefully I'll be able to come away with a decent amount of what's left, but we're definitely getting to some of the higher end stuff looking at some of these, so we'll see. Okay, folks, so I have to, we've just done only a few more games, but I have to let you in on this. So we're starting on the high end PS1 section right here. This Lunar 2, it's, it's disc only, but it's actually missing one of the discs. So we ended up settling on 30 bucks for these discs. Some of them aren't in the best shape and they got Blockbuster stickers and stuff, uh, but there actually was a sold on this on eBay for these exact games for um, like 70 or 80. So I think that's a pretty decent deal. Echo Knight was a really solid one. And then this one was going to be probably the most valuable game we've seen so far, but I opened it up and tragedy struck. It's missing disc number one. And also this manual may have a little rat pee on it. <laughs> so that was really unfortunate. Did end up settling. I think there was a nice case only that sold for 80. So uh, he's giving me a solid deal at 40 bucks for this. And it does have disc two. So that might add some value as well, even though it's got marker and stuff. But then this guy, we ended up doing like 120 for this as well. And I have a sense there are gonna be a lot of high dollar titles in this little stack. We're definitely racking up the bill right now. Okay, so we're still in the middle of the high-end PS1 stuff and more interesting stuff is happening. So you guys may recognize this game. This is one that I actually found at a video game store that was a price error because they didn't realize that it had both discs in it. Last time I picked this up for a um, dollar, this time I'm picking it up for 40, 40 or 45. Um, because the manual, most of the manual is actually missing in it. I don't know if you guys can see that it's actually ripped out, but solid deal on that nonetheless. Overblood is missing some stuff. Galarians, I think is just missing the manual and then PO'd kind of a lower dollar one, but this one is not. Tron Bon Misadventures. Holy cow, folks. I have never found this game before. It goes for like in the range of five hundred dollars i'm paying 260 uh which is a nice deal partly because it does have this uh writing here this is one of the rare cases that i probably would just uh take a q-tip and some alcohol or you know whatever the best solution ends up being and try to get this off normally i wouldn't really bother i'd just list it as it is but with a game that valuable <laughs> i think i can justify the extra labor all right folks so <laughs> i don't know how far along we are in terms of value but Currently, the total bill is $3,200. So needless to say, there were some very high-end PS1 games in here. We're going through like some of the like mid to low-end stuff right now. And I just wanted to let you guys know that we opened up Legend of Lagaya to find none other than Linkin Park's Hybrid Theory. Oh. So uh, if anybody's a big fan of this CD, please let me know. I can hook you up. Although, oh boy, this thing's seen better days. All right, folks, this is the moment that everyone has been waiting for. Look at this, all these sealed PlayStation 1 games. Folks, this is just like grail after grail in this stack. This is kind of crazy. Some of them are greatest hits, like this Twisted Metal. That's not great for the value usually. There are a few cases in which like the greatest hits version is actually a little more uncommon. But for the most part, you want to see these nice black labels. And we're just going to go through one by one on these because like some stuff like Casper, probably not going to have a ton of value, but still it's a sealed PlayStation 1 game. Other ones, such as Castlevania Chronicles, although I'm noticing this one doesn't actually have the plastic wrap, it just has this seal up here, which is a little bit unfortunate. But look at this, Resident Evil 2, it is greatest hits, but it's sealed. So like, there's gonna be some value in this stack, folks, and uh, we're gonna bring you guys along for it. So uh, let's go ahead and start with Twisted Metal. <clears throat> uh, 175 was the most recent one. Uh, actually, the only one that I can find, let's look at condition on that. This one, I'm not seeing any like breaks in the seal or anything, so that's good. It has a sticker here, but that can be removed. Yeah, I mean, and this is in better condition than that one. So, and I told you that I'd pay up for sealed games. So how would a hundred bucks be? No. Fair. Cool. 
Because guys, like that's that's enough of a discount off of what they normally go for. It's still worth it for me to like take this home, clean it up, maybe try to get the sticker off and potentially send it in to VGA for grading. Even though that process is going to take a long time, I think there will probably be enough upside at the end of it to make it all worth the 200 or so dollars that I'll eventually have to invest in a graded copy of Twisted Metal to sealed. And we're just going to go ahead. I mean, I'll show you guys all of these. I won't show the negotiations because that would be a super long video, but we've got like Contra. What's this? Uh, Tempest X Tomb Raider. That could be a good one. Tomb Raider Chronicles. Another Tomb Raider. Apparently this person didn't like to play Tomb Raider games. Ooh, Resident Evil Survivor. That's a very interesting one. I would guess that's probably on the higher end. Oh, we've got Croc Legend of Gobos, that is uh, Greatest Hits, as well as the Resident Evil 2 that I mentioned before, and Casper, and the semi-sealed Castlevania. So I'll update you guys once we have a number on all these sealed games. So we're going back and forth right now on this bad boy. Resident Evil was looking at the price charting, and obviously it's gone up over time to... Some of the most recent sales were between, the best one was like in the 300s. Usually it's in the more like 200 to like 222, I think like 230. I just, I have a sense that, that it's worth more. I don't know why I'm saying that, I just do. I feel like if I were to pay like 100, I would just be getting too good of a deal, honestly. So I would say, how about 150? I'll do 150. Is that fair? fair? Okay. I just kind of feel like it's in the 300 range. I don't know, but. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully I'm right. And I've also, once this does get graded, because this is definitely the kind of thing, it's in really nice shape. Once this comes back, I have a hard time believing that there's any way I could lose money on an overall like $250 investment. So I feel good about it. Thank you. Well, ladies and gents, we got him. Ended up spending what will be north of $1,000 on this little stack right here. I uh, can't remember what the actual total is, but I will get you a total for the whole deal once we're done. We're just trying to get a little bit efficient here because I've been here for about three hours so far. Um, but yeah, folks, I'm really happy that these are coming home with me. And even though I did miss out on the once in a lifetime hoarder haul, nice to eventually have these pass through my hands at least once. So it makes me feel a little better. Alrighty, so just came to a deal on all of the uh, non-sealed PS2 games. Those are camping out in here, but I wanted to give you guys a look before I start negotiating here on some of the titles of the sealed games, like Evil Dead should be solid. Uh, what else am I, ooh, Godzilla's should be pretty good. Beautiful Joe 2 should be good. Silent Hill, The Room 4, that'll definitely be a gem. Uh, oh, another Godzilla, Unleashed. Kingdom Hearts actually sometimes surprises me how little it's worth. Ooh, Legend of Spyro should probably be good. Twisted Metal. Some of those other ones were pretty decent. Obscure, ooh, that could be a good one. Although this this Neopets does look like a reseal. You can tell from kind of the edge seam right there, but that's a good one to be a reseal. Looks like most of these other ones are in pretty good shape. Ooh, uh, another Silent Hill, Red Dead Revolt. Ooh, Samurai Jack, that'll be an interesting one too. Another Resident Evil. So yeah, folks, needless to say, I'm excited to get through this stack. We'll see if we can have as good of a success ratio with these as we did with the PS1. Well, friends, we got him. Managed to uh, come to a deal on everything. What were some of the highlights here? Uh, Samurai Jack was like uh, over 100 normally in sealed. Uh, Silent Hill Origins was definitely a more expensive one. Um, Ghost in a Shell was decent. Lifeline was decent. Champions of Norath or Champions Norath was a good one as well. Godzilla, the other two Godzillas, I think I paid 80 a piece for. Kingdom Hearts. Chain of Memories is actually worth more black label. It's worth in like the $80 range. So ended up paying like 40 or 50 for that, I believe. And yeah, just a, oh yeah, Silent Hill for the room. That was a really expensive one. Uh, just a lot of really solid games in here that I'm happy to be coming home with. All right, friends. So here is everything so far that we have come to a deal on looking real nice, ready to be loaded into the old Prius. Uh, we've got some stuff over here. I think I'm a lot of the consoles I'll probably pass on just because my office, like I literally don't have space for a whole bunch of stuff that's gonna wait on me to test it for like months. Uh, there are some solid handhelds here. Before we do this, we're gonna take a peek out into the barn and see what we can see out there. So I've gotta say, I think this is probably the first time I've ever found video games in an actual barn. This is uh, this is pretty quintessential Kentucky right here. I'm excited to take a peek. 
All right. They were better cut. I, I just recently came out here. A whole bunch. Oh, okay. So some actual sealed stuff out here too. Still needs to be cleaned. <laughs> oh, so this is all from the hoarder house as Everything well. Here. Holy here. cow. So we've got dirty Batman. Ooh. Take a looky at that. It's beautiful. A little bit of crushing, but and a little bit of rat fecal matter. <laughs> well, this is cool. So do you mind if I take this off as well? Sure. Wow, all kinds of stuff. Okay, so that guy's sealed. Yeah, these have not seen a cloth in quite some time. They have not. <laughs> Getting around to it. It took me forever to clean just what was in that room. We've got, yeah, I bet. Angry Birds sealed. So most of that stuff is open, but some decent PS3 titles down there. Okay, yeah. And is this all just kind of lower value stuff? Mostly, yeah. I mean, I don't know if I would really want to like go through everything individually, just given the state of it. If you have any interest in like selling it by the box, I'm I'm happy to see if I can make offers. Is there, cause you've, you've gone through this stuff and most of it is not like super high end, right? Like that stuff you picked out and we've gone through? Yeah. Okay. There well, that makes me feel pretty good about it. There might be a few little... Sure. So like for this box, for example, I can see most of the stuff in here. We've probably got maybe like, I don't know, 80 or so games uh, that definitely, they, they do need some work. <laughs> I'm actually asking myself if I really want it. <laughs> What's my uh, Clorox wipe budget? <laughs> so like, like something like this, this is really cool. Even though it's nasty, like. I think you can guess where that came from. Yep, I can. I know these go for like over a hundred dollars, even if they're a little bent. Probably one of the better things that's actually out here. Yeah, I would guess. Is much of this sealed? There's a few sealed things. Just a few? Not many. Okay. Like, I mean, here's one right here. Yeah. This one I probably don't have as much interest in just because I don't do a lot of toys. But for the other three bins and this guy, what would you say to... One million dollars. 250. Make it three. Three? I'll do three. I'll okay. do three for it. All right. Appreciate that. You know what? You can take the bins. Okay, well that'll that'll help me as well. I'll, uh, I guess I'll start with this one and we can get it to the Prius. All right, folks, so... Just came to another deal on this last little tote of miscellaneous like lower end games. Mostly, there were a few gems in here that we liked. But yeah, 180 bucks for this because uh, like Discworld, for example, smells terrible, but uh, you know, goes for something. So yeah, this is coming home as well. And the last thing that I have to look at over here is some of these handhelds. And you said some of these had some issues, is that right? That's right, yeah. Okay, How how's this SP? The SP, um, works there it is Let's see do we have sound oh my gosh so many title screens there's the sound nice how about um 40. i'll do it okay you can keep the intech charger stand <laughs> okay looks like we got a little bundle in here got a good number of like lower end games as well as this guy uh these do these do okay for me it's not in the best shape uh on that i could be at uh like 30. 40. For the bundle? I think I can do 40. Works for me. All that in there. Then we got PSP action over here. One and two. One of them is missing the battery. Okay. Uh, I might go ahead and just pass on those for now. That's fine. Uh, this other XL. Oh, nice. We got a picture of American flag Crocs. Freedom! Uh, would you do 40 on this guy without yeah, the bundle? Yeah. What did I say? 40. Well, shoot. I guess I've already said to, haven't I? <laughs> to say 30. No. But that's all right. Oh, what a loser! This guy must not have a charge. Why don't we plug this guy in? Because I could make a decent offer on that. This one, too. Probably pass on the DSIs. If we can get them working, I could probably be at um, 50 for the pink and like 25 for the light. Does that work? That. Okay. It's working. So yeah, this one, uh, I could also be at 30. Yeah, I'll do that. Also folks, gotta say, as these things are charging, I'm almost sure I had one of these as a kid. These uh, little ear, like earmuff, earbud, earpiece, Game Boy Advance SP branded things 
just really took me back. Oh, look at that. It even goes with the whole backpack. What a deal. <laughs> Not gonna pull the trigger on this, but is anyone else nostalgic for that? SP is probably, oh, and there's the pack, look at that. That's actually pretty cool. All right, folks, time for the grand reveal. Adding everything that I just bought to the original total we calculated of 3,215 equals $5,996. Is crazy. I think that may be the single biggest video game purchase I've ever made. You can make it even 6,000. <laughs> and even 6,000 with the SP parts? I will do that. Why not? For the little boost of nostalgia. May as well round it out, right? That, right. that is a big deal, I must say. Well, folks, the car is packed. And let me tell you, Prius is being quite faithful today. Might be riding a little bit low. In case anyone was wondering, this is what a good day looks like as a video game reseller. So yeah, uh, I have $6,000 worth of video games in my trunk. Wow. So I'm here in the car with my celebratory Chipotle, which I'm very excited to dig into. Normally I'd like to like take this whole haul and like get it laid out in the office and like kind of take you guys through it But I think you guys probably understand that like that there's no way I can't, you know how full my office already is I I just can't do it with this stuff But before closing out I did want to say that like I'm realizing was realizing kind of as I was driving away like I didn't realize how big this deal was going to be this morning, but it just kind of hit me that like, wow, this is going to be maybe my best deal of the whole year. This is definitely the most money I've ever spent on a deal. I think I've actually spent north of 5,000 before, but I don't think I've spent six. And just with the number of like quality gradable games back there, I think my ROI in the long term, granted, I'm not going to see profits on a lot of these games till like 2022, but in the long run, I think I'm gonna be able to make a good bit on this stuff and I. <laughs> I also do have to come to terms with the fact that I'm gonna have to spend a lot of hours scrubbing mouse pee off of games and getting them like smelling and looking nice. It's just part of the game sometimes, but I uh, just wanted to say thank you guys for sticking with this video this long. I can tell already it's going to be a long one. Too long, it was too long. It just means a lot to have people along for the ride on uh, what may be the highlight deal of the year. And I'll leave you guys with this thought because this is now the not first or second or third, but fourth deal that I have done with other local resellers from that crazy hoarder house pick that happened while I was in Europe. The only reason that that is possible is because I've developed a reputation here in Lexington and in the Kentucky area as the guy who pays well for video games. And I would highly recommend if it's possible, if you sell on Amazon uh, or if you just deal in like higher end goods or if you have a niche that you specialize in, get the word out. And especially for the people who are local that could potentially bring you more deals in the future, pay them well, take them out to dinner afterwards, wine and dine them, do what you have to do. Because frankly, it doesn't take very many deals like this one to make or break a resale business. Now, the last thing that I wanna do is respond to a couple comments that I know I'm always going to get on videos like these. One of them is what I have come to think of as the hater paradox of, Caleb, either you're stupid for paying too much, you could have gotten it for less because you're buying so much, or Caleb, you're a scumbag for not paying this guy enough, or in the worst cases, the other person that you're doing business with is stupid for not selling everything on their own. That's one unfortunate thing of putting everything uh, out on YouTube is sometimes I actually worry that other people that I do business with will go into the forbidden comment section uh, and start to feel discouraged about a deal that we've done when in reality it just kind of comes with the territory of videos like this the last thing that I wanted to share with you guys is this and then I promise I'll shut up just yesterday I had a record-breaking eBay sale highest eBay sale I have ever had of a graded video game Money. This was the Luigi's Mansion Black Label Sealed that I got in another video at my first ever video game convention. A lot of you guys may remember, I paid 300 bucks plus 100 to get it graded and it just sold within two hours of listing it. So I probably underpriced it, sold for 35 
hundred dollars. Holy crap! A lot of people have been asking me about that game, so I did want to give that update and uh, just share some of my elation because that absolutely blew my mind. Uh, I know that Wada right now is in uh, some some hot Wada, bruh. You might say. Boom. That's bad. I'm not patting myself on the back for that one. Anyway, there are mixed thoughts in the market about water right now, but I'm just happy that in this particular case, that investment worked out. And yeah, couldn't be more thrilled with the result. The other game that people always ask about is that sealed Yoshi's Island that I bought for quite a lot of money in another video. Uh, and let's just say I have another whole video that's going to be coming out on that topic. Anyways, ladies and gents, thanks so much for coming along on this wild ride. And until next time, I will catch you guys. I don't know how this is gonna work. Stupid humans. On the flip. <laughs>